Gone are the days when they'll ask the quiz question which football club shares its ground with a county cricket team. For almost a century the county ground had been the unique, three-sided and quite frankly rather humble home to Northampton Town. But it was cosy, warm and usually packed in the 60s. There was one meteoric season at the top end of the English game and one historic FA Cup defeat. Best. Here's the record. There it is. George Evans. But two years ago, Theo Foley's young side felt the full effects of a steady decline. The players couldn't be paid, and Northampton went bust with two million pound debts. It needed the Borough Council to dig deep and make a commitment to redevelop. And that's what they did. Last week, Mansfield Town won the final game at the county ground. After 97 years, the lights went out on professional football. There were teething problems with the new ground. It should have been ready in the summer, but the Sixfield Stadium built on an old refuse tip to the west of the city has been worth the extra weight. The five million pound development is rated by many experts as one of the finest small scale stadia since the Taylor Report was published four years ago. Northampton are council tenants but they're certain the new facilities will maximise their commercial potential. And after the county ground, he won't find too many supporters complaining. People want to play here now. They will really want to play for this club. It's a, it's a club that's going forward. You know, everybody got used to the county ground, but we did need new facility, you know. It was a bit of a joke over the years, you know, with different um, teams and that, you know. And with the kids and uh, going to the family stand and... And looking after us nice there. So it's a day to be enjoyed? Yeah, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. That's why I'm early. <laughs> Six Fields has an all-seater capacity of 7,500 and the potential for expansion should the team's fortune match that new commercial opportunity. The nightmare is that things won't improve in time to stop the league's newest ground ending up as the best venue in the Vauxhall Conference. But the early indications from the housewarming are promising. On the hour, Martin Aldridge conjured up a goal and a sideshow celebration fit to christen any stadium. Barnett, third in the league at the start, made difficult first opponents and eight minutes later, Dougie Friedman seized one of their rare chances to equalise. But even their manager, Ray Clements, admitted Northampton were desperately unlucky not to begin with a win. Phil Robinson smudges the paintwork on the crossbar. Gareth Williams does even more damage to the upright. But there's no denying the new optimism. Lovely. It was just great to score in any case, just to get in the lead. I really thought we were going to beat them. And just to score the first goal here, and it's just marvellous. You know, when Northampton went in front, I mean, it felt there was an awful lot more people there than 7,500, I can assure you. So, uh, yes, the, the atmosphere in the stadium is lovely. The atmosphere was absolutely electric at times. And I suspected on this ground that uh, it would, could have been the bowl, it would create a nice atmosphere. And that's exactly what it's done. And uh, uh, we're very, very comfortable all of a sudden here. Very comfortable. We look forward to coming here again. <laughs>